before we jump there, right? Let's just a quick background. What is H. pylori? Because I think it'll be new for a lot of people that are listening in. So H. pylori is a very common infection. Okay, Helicobacter pylori is what we call it. Hmm. It generally causes ulcers in your stomach when it is there. Okay. Normally, we all have H. pylori in our body. Hmm. Okay. But it is in less quantity. Hmm. When it increases in quantity, it becomes bad for us. Understood. Hmm? And the standard treatment for this? Is triple antibiotic therapy. Understood. Okay. And a PPI, antacid. That's what we do. We first do endoscopy. Hmm. We check if there are any ulcers or not. Hmm. We do triple antibiotic therapy hmm. with a PPI. Hmm. And generally, it used to get sorted. When I say used to, because now what I'm seeing is relapses are happening or sometimes it's not getting sorted at all. Okay. Even with two, two, three, three courses of antibiotics, recovery is not happening. Hmm. So what functional medicine teaches me or what do I do for these patients? I have realized that your gut is like a wild forest. Okay. Okay. So if your terrain is really bad hmm. and there is so many weeds hmm. in your terrain, hmm. then what will happen is if you pull out weeds, more weeds will only come. Hmm. Terrain will not improve with good quality stuff. Hmm. So in those cases, you have to first plant good plants there. Okay. Right. When you plant good plants, automatically space for weeds become less. That's how rainforests are built, hmm. right? Hmm. And then there is a time when you see that now if you weed, maybe you will be able to maintain the balance. Understood. That's what we have to do in the gut. If such a case comes to me, right, I will first work on the acid of your stomach. Okay. Because if your acid is less, hmm. you can try whatever. You can give 10 courses of antibiotics. You can do whatever you want to do. It's not going to happen. Infection will come. It will come. It will come. It will not relapse. Understood. Right? Once that is done, acid is corrected. Then enzymes and all have to be corrected. The diversity of the microbiome have to be corrected. So unfortunately, what happens with IBS patients is too many foods trigger their gut motility. Hmm. They become scared of eating. Hmm. All these IBS patients have told me we are scared of eating. What do we eat? Because what will happen? Exactly. And now what they land up with is that the diversity is less. So hmm. microbiome becomes compromised. Correct. So we have to work on that. Hmm. Once we have done that and we realize now the body is, we work on the nutritional deficiencies. Hmm. Because you have to have good omega-3s, you have to have good magnesium, iodine, zinc, sodium potassium ratios, even copper at times hmm. plays a critical role. Hmm. So all of that, iodine we know, if we are less in iodine, probability of infections become high. Hmm. Iodine was used as an antiseptic for many, many years. Ah, I did not know this. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes for infection, what do we do? We give iodine. Hmm. Right? If the patient is deficient in iodine, we give iodine. We get phenomenal results. Hmm. So we have to be careful what we do. And and that is how, you know, it uh, finally the rainforest starts blooming. Now, and now when we give triple functional medicine therapy for gut where we use ginger, we use mastic gum, we use this myth. Hmm. Okay? This product was not available in India till long, but now it is available, this combo. Now this will work. For H. pylori in particular. For H.